we are going to make a batch of hard cider, a turbo cider it is. It'll take about, well the last lot I've done took five days to ferment out and it'll be another few days in the bottles. Now we've just got bog standard supermarket apple juice. So we're going to make a, a gallon go eight pints now for less than £2.50. So the ingredients are, we've got four and a half litres there of apple juice, two tea bags, a bit of yeast, a, te a teaspoon of yeast nutrient and some cider yeast. And we'll put about two dessert spoons of uh, sugar in and it should turn out to be around the 6% mark. So we're just going to bring a bit of the apple juice to the simmer just because it will uh, dissolve the sugar and we're going to leave the tea bag soaking that for maybe 10 minutes so we just bring this in goes the two standard tea bags just for a bit of tanning and we'll have two dessert spoons one of sugar and as I said it should give a alcohol content of about six percent we just bring it to the same it's just to dissolve the sugar Start putting on the rest in a jar then. We'll top it up now when uh, we've added the warmed apple juice with sugar. I don't know if you can see that but it's given uh, a reading of 1.050 which will give us a alcohol content of 6.4. So it's going to be uh, not too bad. We, we're all ready now to pitch the yeast. <clears throat> so we transferred it now to the gallon demijohn. And we've just all we've added extra was uh, a teaspoon of yeast nutrient. I don't think you can see it. A teaspoon of yeast, yeast nutrient. So we've got uh, the 5 gram pack of cider yeast, where well, we don't need that much. This will do a, a 23 litre batch, so we're going to use about a quarter of this, which would be about the teaspoon. So we're just going to pitch the yeast. And that's it all done. So we're gonna leave that ferment out now. As I said, the last batch took about 
for five days and we'll leave it to ferment at about 20 degrees Celsius and then we'll bottle it up after about five days. So, so all that's left to do is add the bun and the vent. And that's that. So we wait five days now and see what it's like then. Uh, this is the the cider. It's I added finings about 16 hours ago, so it's been sitting with the finings and it's cleared up very nicely. So I don't know if you can see it. It's my hand through the back of it. So it is quite clear. So we're going to transfer from that into this uh, jar and then we're going to bottle it up. Uh, what we're doing now, we're adding a teaspoon of sugar to each, each bottle to aid in carbonation. Only a teaspoon, and this this should end up now at about six point five percent, roughly. So I'm hoping to get about seven pints from this one gallon batch. sugar added so we're just gonna bottle it up now I, uh, I did add <coughs> three teaspoons of malic acid to the, the gallon damage on it's uh, it makes it sour and dry so we add eight bottles so eight pints so we didn't actually lose virtually anything in the transfer in between the two jars so I've had over eight pints and as I said it's going to be six I think I just put the drum there on it it was 6.3 so we'll give this uh, a week now to carbonate and see what it's like and it's worked out I want a little for the apple juice and it was 83 pence for a litre and a half so it's, uh, let's say around about £3.50 I made it for less than £3.50 for 8 pints and that's 6.3 and I just had a little taste of it now it's very sour, very dry it, uh, it reminds me of the well, strong bow the Taurus and Woodgate which you do get from Littles and Aldi but this is 6.3% not 4.5 or 5% so it's worth to win so as I said for 3.50 you got 8 pints so you can't fault that so it's just a matter of waiting now for about a week to see if this uh, carbonates I do like a bit of fizz in the cider so we'll give it a week tasting time. So we're having a can of bow. Now very nice it is. Oh that's kind of good that is. And we're gonna taste one of my home brews which has just been in the fridge for in the freezer for half hour and we're gonna try this. So we can have a go at that and it's been in the 
bottles now for about four or five days so it should have a bit of sparkle in it so you can see as you can see there is quite a bit of fizz in that and I'm gonna have a look at it now to see how clear it is well damn that looks very uh, clear and we're gonna try this now to see how much it compares to the Strongbow so let's try it as I said it's 6.4% uh, 6, 6 Obviously it's not no any other strong bow, but it's a good drink. It's a little bit too sour. Where I added three spoons of malic acid to the damage on, I think I would only add one or maybe nothing. It's a little bit too sour and it still could do with a bit more carbonation. But it, it hasn't got that, not that homebrew taste you usually get. It hasn't got that, like like a kit has. By making it from apple juice, it's a lot better and a lot more drinkable. So I'm going to enjoy myself with that and this tonight. 6.4, it won't take many of them to get me, uh, you know what I mean? So, I'll catch you all again.